cancer knocked me down, but not out. Now, I'm cancer free. The recovery, it's been tough. I'll need patience, a lot of humor. You can only keep talent down for so long. And support from friends and family. Over the last two years, I haven't played much golf, but there's no better place to get back in the game than on 66 courses in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're keeping score, but just teeing it up means I've already won. You're not gonna believe where this ball ended up. Join me on my journey to break par. Man, if this site doesn't get your adrenaline pumping, nothing will. This might be the most iconic finishing hole in Myrtle Beach golf and you can see why. Your tee shot here is all about the proper layup position. You don't wanna miss the green here because the back porch peanut gallery, yeah, that's right. They're gonna make sure you never hear the end of it. Folks, we are in Pauley's Island, South Carolina at the Caledonia Golf and Fish Club and check out this view. My house is about six or seven miles north of here. I'm right on the Waccamaw River, which is just a few hundred yards over there. The sun sets here every afternoon. <laughs> My wife and I call it the show. We absolutely love it. And also love the Caledonia Golf and Fish Club. It is an incredible experience, a, a wonderful assortment of golf holes. Just absolutely beautiful. When you come here to play, you just sort of slow down a little bit. Don't be in a hurry, breathe deep. You're gonna have a great day. And how about this finishing hole? Check it out. It plays right into the back porch of the clubhouse. It's, it's one of the coolest finishing holes in golf. All right, I'm going with the five wood. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the five wood. And here's why. This isn't about distance. The closer I can get it to the penalty area on the right, the shorter my second shot's gonna be. We'll get as close to that penalty area as I can without actually going in it. Oh yeah, that's a keeper right there. In the business, we call that a butter cut. So here's the problem. I got 105 yards over water. Gosh, it's just beautiful out here this morning. And I got like all of these wedges and I don't have a single one that goes 105 yards. I either got to hit a hard one of these or an easy one of those. Uh, I'm gonna go with an easy one because it's early and I'm old. Front hole location. I've been told that on occasion, when big groups play out here, all the, all the buddies will get up on that porch and maybe enjoy a beverage and do some heckling. Wouldn't that be horrible? <laughs> Hope y'all are rolling on this one. I might make this. Might just make this. Or I could come up short in the front fringe. I'm due to make a long putt. That one makes me mad. I told you I was between clubs. but I'll be all right. I really don't have a club that goes 105 yards and I really was caught in between clubs. Plus I hit it really thin, stung my hands. It's hard to be mad long in Caledonia though. All right, so here's what I got. I got putting stroke, putting grip, heel up, toe down. I'm gonna hit on the shiny part out there. Let's see if this will come together for me. Let's see if this will come together for me. Ooh, I thought I made that one. All right, I got a little right to left here. I gotta tell you, right to left is not my favorite. We'll see what we can get. Oh yeah. Four on 18 at Caledonia. With this setting, yeah, that'll work. That's one heck of a one-two Mike Strantz combo we just finished off right there. We're still at even par on the scorecard, but way ahead in satisfaction. You just can't beat this.